doilies by Shell. In this video, I am showing you the folding cubes I have created recently. The um, idea came to me thanks to Iris, who posted her finished folding cube in Seed Beads and More Facebook group. I had been looking for a way to do a fun project where I could actually give a message to my daughter. So the folding cube um, turned out to be the perfect idea. This one here I created so that I could figure out where I would need to place each letter to actually make the message. So this was the experimental folding cube that I created. Then my first folding cube I did to test that I got the letters correct. And I found, as you will see when I go through this one, that I did make a mistake in one area, but it was an easy fix on the diagram. So when I make the one for my daughter, it will be perfect. This one here I made for my husband. He has gotten into a K-pop group called Black Pink. And the members of the group are Jisoo and Jenny. And as you can see here, the, the message cube works best with four letters. But if you do have more, you can find ways to combine the letters to make it still work. Now we'll move on to the next side. I made these little arrows so that you would know where to open it so that when you open it, the message is usually correct. Here is where my mistake was. As you can see, the letters are in the correct order. This is Rose and Lisa, but they're all upside down. So all I had to do on my diagram to fix it for my next cube was to turn these 180 degrees. So like I said, it was an easy fix, but unfortunately, Rose and Lisa are upside down. And then it finishes with black pink, but this time it's done the official way with the A done like a V, the C backwards, and the N upside down. Um, so this is correct. And then you fold it and you find your start again and it begins right back at the beginning. Now, um, let's see. I do have patterns available for my uh, letter squares. I also have YouTube videos available for creating the letter squares. And then I have available already um, the creating of cubes so you can get the cubes done. Now for hinging I found this YouTube video, which is actually um, folding cubes with duct tape, and it showed me where to place the hinges for my piece. It was the first video that I found that I was able to uh, figure out where the hinging would go. So after I found this, I didn't need to look any further. There may be other videos that show where to place the hinges just as well or better, but this one worked for me. And here is my diagram or my write up for where to place the hinges. So, laying this out, let's see, get it back to the proper um, beginning. Let's see, we'll just go through it until it should be yes. Actually, no, we need it laid out differently. That's the way we want it. Okay. So, for the way I do it, I do T1 to T2, the bottom of T1 to the bottom, top of T2. Then, going this way, I do 3, 1 to 3, 3, which if you turn it this way is the way that I show it here. You have 3, 3 to three, one, 
And then we flip it over. And you have one, two, two, four, one, four. And where I'm getting this is, set this aside for a second, is my diagram, which I'm going to be putting up on Pinterest for actually laying out your message square. And I have numbered the um, cube or the, the squares in the cubes so that you can figure out where each will go and how to hinge them together. So I will be putting up this diagram here as well as this diagram um, so that you can hinge your um, cubes together and make your folding cube. Now putting that all aside for the moment, what I want to show you is how to prepare using this diagram your message. Now for my daughter I have my letters laid out here but what I'm also going to be doing is adding neat little for here I'm going to add neat little designs. I'm going to have the arrows as usual but I'm going to add butterflies on this side and then for this side um, you can just barely see it. I plan to put a cat. So for that, I have these small cubes on the end here for those. And then these are for your messages. So what you would do is you would write your message into the squares. And then if you want to draw up small um, follow-up diagrams for the front and back. You can do that also. And then what you want to do is you'll take these and you'll cut them out. And I'm just going to add a teensy bit of glue to the back. Had it working a second ago. Maybe don't have it opened. Ah, oh, there it goes. Oops, a little too much, but that's okay. And then I find where A1 is. A1 is here. So I match up A1 to A1. And that is where that one goes. Then this one is A5. So I match up A5 to A5. And I put it there. Then A2. Match up A2 to A2. And A6 to A6. And then I'm going to jump to the C's. Put this over here. Now I want to find C1. C1 is here. Now, this one I'm going to be turning so that the C1s match up. This one is C5, which is right here. So I turn it so that the C5s match up. And I have C2, which is right here. Turn it so the C2 matches up. And then C6, here, match it up. And now we'll do the first couple Bs. 
Oh, actually, these were B, but I found that I actually already had B for the bottom of the square, our cube. So I changed these to E. So these are actually E. I still think of them as B, but they are actually E. So we have E1. E1 is down here, and we turn it upside down so that the E1 matches up. And E2 is right here, also upside down. So we turn it upside down. Now this will work with any stitch because all you're doing here is laying out where your squares on your cubes go. So if you have uh, want to do your cube in peyote, you can do your cube in peyote. You just need to find um, instructions for creating it. I don't have instructions for the peyote stitch. I only have it for my faceted bead art. But it can be done in other stitches. And this one is the correct way up. And that is what you do. You can find your letters or write in your, your, your message and your pictures. Like here, because I have B, I've been putting little B's on either side of it to fill in the four because it's only two letters. And then down here I have U and I added a heart at the end of it. And then for these guys, these ones you use the square number and you would match it up to go in the same direction as the square number. So this is one, two, So it goes here and it goes right side up because the one, two is at the top. And this one is one, four. And I believe, yeah, this was a bottom, but it's going to be turned upside down. And this is one six, and it's the top of the tail. One, number six, and as you can see, the top of the tail is going to be sideways. And this is the bottom of the tail with the cat's bum. And it will also be sideways in one eight. And that is how you can determine where each of your designs should go on your cube. And um, I'm going to be making this one up and I will be showing it in the next video where I will um, go over this probably again and show you some more um, things that I will learn as I put together the second one. I hope to see you there.